guys, Civic Dude here. Um, I'm not bringing you a Let's Play today. This is something different. Uh, this is actually a tutorial. But I'm going to start it off in my Let's Play world just to show you how it can be used, and then I'll show you how to build it. But I want to talk about the fundamental problem of storage. Everybody knows about it. You always end up with more things than you can possibly store in one place. But you don't want to overcrowd your your nice looking storage rooms. So what do you do? Well I propose that you create some secret hidden rooms, extra storage if you will. So let me just demonstrate for you. Regular storage wall. Secret entrance to hidden storage room equipped with redstone lamp and mini chests. So now that we know exactly what we're going to be doing, let us make our way over to our test world and set this thing up. I'll see you guys over there. And we're back. Okay guys, we're here in our test world. We've got a finished one set up. Let me just test it real quick. Okay, moves out of the way just like it's supposed to and opens up into whatever you want it to go to. So, let's close it up and we'll start building one of these things. The uh, firing mechanism here is a button based on a T flip flop. And there's uh, two pistons here. Uh, anyways, I'll show you. There's two pistons that pull this two blocks to the side, and one piston here that pulls this block down. But I'll show you guys. Okay, let's get started. First thing we need to do is dig out our nice big area here for our T flip flop. Because we're going to need some space. And let's see. The way that I like to do this is set up my, my uh, area that needs to be pulled aside first. That way I know where I'm working to. Instead of just building into empty space, I at least have something to base this on now. So, the thing, the uh, objective that we're trying to accomplish here is, first of all, we have to pull this middle staircase down before we do anything. So, let's grab ourselves a sticky piston. And I'm going to place it right there. And it's going to be defaulted into the on position. So that whenever it uh, retracts, it pulls the staircase down. Now, same thing with this block right behind it. Because this one needs to go out of the way as well. Because remember, we have a block right here that our chest will sit on that needs to that we need to clear our head needs to clear that block so we're end up we're going to end up actually walking on this block right down here like so so we're going to have to get these two blocks or these two pistons to pull these two blocks down the very first thing the next thing that has to happen is uh, this piston and the staircase need to move to the side over here so we need two more sticky pistons right here and right here now that's going to have to have to happen second so we're going to need a repeater that has a little bit of a delay on it so let's start wiring up our T flip flop and we're going to need to tie it into a button up somewhere but we can do that in a minute okay let's put it right down here and I didn't need to get rid of those okay Torch there, and actually, you know what, just to be c correct with this, these don't have to be sticky pistons. So we'll place that like that, block there, one on top, one on top, and this is just a standard T flip flop that you've probably seen a hundred times. Okay, there we go, and then our current comes out right there. Now, what we're going to do is bring this guy up so we have 
up like that and I'm just doing this quick and dirty because it doesn't have to be perfect you can make it fit your your particular build um, as you need it and actually I don't even need that one let's do it like this okay so like so and we grab a button okay there we go let's test it perfect now we want the power to be on to default with because we must power these two pistons to begin with so in order to do that what we're going to do is bring our current down like this and into that one like that and we're also going to bring it up here because we're going to need it for the two pistons over there so let's see what did I do I think I did it like this actually went underneath this block and most of this wiring you can uh, just customize to whatever you need for your build because the only thing that really matters with this wiring is that it works and um, it's not quite as necessary to get it just right as some other things such as where the repeater goes so speaking of repeaters let us put our repeater right there oh no actually sorry see this is what I was talking about we need a little bit more space for wiring because we need the uh, wire to go oh. and it's not going to work oh shoot well here we can do it like this like that and we're going to de delay this on the last setting just to make sure that it goes after everything else now what we're also going to do is uh, let's see how did I do this I think I did block there no, not a block there. Block here. This is what it was. Okay. So in order to default this staircase one, the one that actually holds the staircase piece into the on position, we're going to send power into the block below it. That way, both of the singles right here are defaulted on. Actually, everything is defaulted on. And then the... Uh, repeater back there will make sure that the pistons that pull the ones to the side fire after the other ones do. So let's just give it a try here. And there you go folks. Pulls it out of the way and we're now in our our secret area. And what we can do here is we can block this off so that no one will ever know. like this. Notice how we have just enough clearance to go under the block that holds our chest in my in my application. And you can cover up all the redstone as you need to or rewire it, reroute the wiring uh, rather as you need fit to fit your uh, particular build. But for me all I needed was this right here. And that folks is how you create a secret entrance to a secret storage room that nobody knows about. Hopefully you can use this in your builds. Let me know in the comments if, you, uh, if you've been able to use it or if it's been helpful to you. I hope you've enjoyed this. I know I have. Um, feel free to check out my channel. I've got a few other Minecraft videos out. But uh, let me know what you think about this and stop back by for more. See you guys.